Hello everyone, this is a test of things that we can use to get rid of rust on all tools. Things that you've found in the shed, things that you find at a boot sale, things that you've been left by relatives. Um, it's great to get them back in working order, but sometimes it's a bit of an effort. So here we go. Normal vinegar, diet coke, coke or cola and salty vinegar. I've left the two apart and I'm trying to keep them off my workbench because it does stain. On top of that, ketchup. So I'm going to dunk them all in and leave them soaking for a few hours. Then I'll edit another one in so that you'll be able to see that they are actually soaking. Right, so there we go. I've put them in. As you can see, I wish that all the samples had been the same, but they're all fairly rusty. So I don't think it makes a lot of difference. Um, whatever comes out the best after a good 12 hour soak, I'm going to use on this number six and these two number fours now i'm going to fill up my big cylinder that i've got with the best of whatever even if it's mixed someone said that the salt and the vinegar works better than just vinegar on its own so we shall see and once and for all we'll have a definitive answer on how to rescue this sort of thing right and we're back in the room this is approximately 16 hours after I started soaking everything. So I'm just going to take them out and give them a little bit of a rub with a wire brush and see which one's the best. I won't bore you with that till I've got them all on the board. As you can see, this is a board I've used before. That's what vinegar does. Right, hopefully I can film this without ruining my camera, just so you might have some idea that it's not actually faked or anything. Um, as you can see, under the salty vinegar, the rust just comes off. Uh, if I wash it a bit, you can see it's just washing off. I'm just trying not to get my camera straps and things in there. Very clean. Right. This is normal, well, roller cola. Um, in it. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Certainly has some effect. But as I thought, this is what I've seen before. It's it's not as good. But as an alternative, if you left it for a few weeks, it might not be too bad. And it's it's cheaper than the vinegar, I suppose. But then you only need a bit of vinegar. Um, as you can see, it is coming off. Um, let's wash my brush. Wash. <laughs> um, Diet Coke. Again. Let's give that a try. Now that is interesting because that doesn't seem to have much effect at all. But then it is a different piece of steel. It's very rusty. Um, I wouldn't have said Diet Coke is much good at all. Normal vinegar. Let's just get rid of the coke. Let's go with a bit of vinegar on the rust. Now you can see, but for the fact that there's still some residue on there, the vinegar has worked. Um, whereas the diet coke didn't. So I would say probably salty vinegar better. The vinegar. Coke, Diet Coke's useless. Um, last one, but I was going to try. Let's just wash my brush in the vinegar again. Um, it's not the vinegar that's doing this, by the way, just to prove that. A bit of a soak, it definitely needs a soak. You can't just use a wire brush and vinegar unless you're really keen. Um, clean vinegar, ketchup. This is in case you haven't got anywhere to soak your metal. I've just used ketchup so that it could dry. And all I'm left with is a bloody sticky mess to be honest. Let's try using a rag. Yeah, that. I wouldn't have said that's any good at all really. So, still the best. Vinegar or vinegar, 
salty vinegar. It's certainly good. Um, cork isn't too bad, but diet cork's useless. Um, I hope that clears it up, and I hope anybody feels free to answer some questions. I'm now going to soak everything I've got in here in some salty vinegar. Thanks for watching, and again, look at the website and post some questions. Woodworking UK. Thanks very much.